Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video. And in today's video, you see the title, you see the title. We're gonna be talking about Lotto and her career and just some stuff. I have some stuff I want to talk about and say if you're interested in what I have to say about that. Female rap, pop, conspiracy theories, training topics, my unpopular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into for real, go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into it. Also, oh my gosh, YouTube has been playing around with me. A lot of my stuff has not been getting monetized. Like, I'll upload five videos back to back to back and have to hold them because they're not monetized. Then I'll end up just putting them out anyway because I want you guys to see them in their relevant topics. And you know with these topics, they get old quick. And I don't want to put out a video for a topic that's two weeks old because YouTube's not monetized. So I just end up putting it out. But it's just getting really irritating. So y'all support the videos that come out because a lot of the ones that have been coming out recently haven't been monetized because YouTube has been playing with me. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about Lotto. I have some things I want to say because I just want to talk about her career because what is going on with Lotto? Like, I just want to kind of get into it, have a conversation about it. Lotto has been grinding super hard. She's been grinding super hard from the time that Big Energy came out. If we really want to keep it 100, she has been grinding. All this girl do is put out music. She puts out music. She puts out music. She puts out music. She puts out features. She's doing her little sponsorship. She's performing live every year at like, you know, the BET Awards. She's at all the award show. Like she does everything. She's very visible. You know, people acclaim her as being of the top few female rappers in terms of relevancy, in terms of respectability. Like people think that she can rap. Da, 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 da. I think that she can rap, right? But what is going on with her career in a mainstream sense? Like, she hasn't had a big standout moment since Big Energy. Big Energy was her last huge moment. Like, she went number one. She was chart topping at that time. Everybody was talking about her. That was her big break. And I thought it was really up from there, you know, for her. She hasn't been able to get that momentum back or even anywhere close to it. For years. So I kind of wanted to talk about what's been going on with Lotto recently. So basically, she's dropped a lot of stuff. She dropped that remix with Anicia. Um, the last big thing that she had was put it on the floor with Cardi B. Now, if y'all remember, she actually dropped that song originally as her own solo record. It was put on the floor. That was her moment. That was her song. Then she asked, who do we want the remix to be for? Then we got Cardi B put on it. That helped the song out tremendously. And it actually was a moment for it. Rip me out the plastic. I've been acting brand new. Da 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 and they haven't gone anywhere. She dropped, um, let me check. She dropped another nasty song a while ago. She dropped It's a Party that came with the video. She dropped Back Outside, which was a feature um, with Anicia. It was Anicia's song. Um, she was on a song called Can't Get Enough with Jennifer Lopez featuring Lotto, which I think her verse was actually not that bad. And I'm pretty sure she was in like a music video cameo for it as well. And that was a huge song with Jennifer Lopez that went absolutely nowhere. And it had an incredible music video too. Um, I would actually recommend going to watch that. Um, she dropped Sunday Service. Okay. That went absolutely nowhere. Then for whatever reason, a month or two later, she was like, hey, who do you guys want on the remix? Meanwhile, I'm thinking, why are we getting a remix of the song? The song didn't even do anything on its own. Then they get... Cardi B, I'm not, I'm sorry, not Cardi B, Sunday service, we get Megan Thee Stallion, Flo Millie, her, who else, Glorilla, no, 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 just Megan Thee Stallion, Flo Millie, right, yeah, um, the remix didn't go anywhere, I don't believe it charted or anything, you know, it was a cute little moment that the girls had, but it didn't do anything, even with Megan and Flo on it, so it's been this trend of Lotto to get girls onto a record you know, that wasn't really hot to try to see if it'll make it hot. And in this case, it didn't work with Sunday service. 
Then I did a review on the last song she just put out, which is called Big Mama. Okay. And I told y'all in my review that I liked the song, actually, personally. I liked it a lot. I liked the beat. I liked the like the switch up from that melodic R and B sound to that like harder rap sound and that trap beat. I really love that. And a lot of people actually didn't like that switch up, but I loved it. Um and this song, her newest song, Big Mama, as well as pretty much every other song that she's put out recently, Sunday Service, um, has failed to chart. Um, Sunday Service chart at number 100. Big Mama, it's been a week, I think it's been tracking week, has not charted at all. That also had a music video, and she's been promoting it, and she performed it live. Um, and I'm just thinking what is really going on. So actually, let me show you something. Okay. So we have the bubbling under cause I checked the regular billboard just to double check and it wasn't there. So then I went to the bubbling under and there it is big mom at number four on the bubbling under. So I'm like, what, <laughs> what is going on? And maybe it'll rise. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it'll rise up into the charts, but for now it's in the bubbling under. And usually when the song is in the bubbling under, it ends up falling out of, you know, off of the charts entirely. So we could see it might ro rise if there's a dance challenge to it or something that is going to happen to promote the record. Um, I don't know, but it's like, what is going on with Lotto? What is the reason why her career just seems to have been at this stagnancy point? It's not lack of um, trying. It's not lack of promotion. It's not lack of effort. It's not laziness. We can definitely coin it for that because she is constantly grinding. She's constantly putting out work and she can rap. She actually has talent, in my opinion, in comparison to some people who are out who don't have talent like that, but are super popping. I spice. She's not talented at all to me, but she's popping or she was popping. Um, <laughs> you know, she has a lot of popularity around her. Da, 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 da. Um, Red. She is not talented at all to me. But she makes hot hit, you know, burn away singles that people are messing with. Okay. Lotto is not untalented. So what's the issue? For me, personally, I just haven't liked a lot of the recent songs that she has put out. The recent tracks she has put out has not resonated with me. The music that I resonated with with Lotto has been her older music that came out in like 2018, back when she was way more melodic and she was almost like rap infused with R&B. Ooh, the Be From The South era, like that, all of that back in those days were my favorite version of her. That's the uh, version of her I stream the most. One of my favorite songs by her, I think it's called Love Lies, by her and Lil Baby. That is one of my favorite songs by her. Keep the way I put on, got it on, bang on, five in the morning, in the ice on the run. Yeah, I don't remember exactly how it go, but I love that song. You know it's a vibe going on i let me in the eyes that song oh no i'm sorry it's called x lies s e x lies that's what it's called but anyway however it go that is my favorite era of her what i'm trying to figure out though overall is like what is not clicking for a lotto's career she's visible people love her people say they love her people say she's been grinding for years she's this and that she's been here since the rap game then why isn't nobody supporting the music though like something is lacking i don't know if it's i don't know what it is but something is lacking now lotto has been promoting and teasing you know her new album that's supposed to be coming out it's called sugar honey iced tea or s-h-i-t and you know i just based on the music she's been putting out i personally am not that excited for it i'm gonna tune in most likely i'm most likely gonna do a review xyz how i normally do but i'm not excited i'm not anticipating it and my thing is too she's putting out an album off of the backs of pretty much no hits no virality the most you know pop and song that she could put on the album is the put it on the floor record with cardi b now i feel like i don't know what's going on i forget who she signed to somebody can let me know down below i don't know what's going on but i feel like if once this album drop and she don't get no big song in between this next album dropping she could probably get dropped from her label 
because she's been putting out music after music after music after music after music that hasn't been doing anything that people aren't resonating with or paying attention to or whatever the case and then she's about to drop an album if the album doesn't perform which is probably not gonna perform like super high if megan the stallion is super you know big way bigger than lotto and is only pulling 68 or or four or five k i don't expect lotto to do anything more than that so it's, it's gonna be less than 60k you know what i'm saying and then there's no hit singles i don't see the label being that invested you know what i'm saying and this is just speculatory obviously i don't know but based on the performance is what i'm saying you know and somebody who's gonna be mad be like uh, uh girl go buy her music then don't be over here shouting at me you know what i mean i am just calling it how i see it and i don't know what is going on with her i hope she's able to find something too like soon I know she's probably frustrated because there's a lot of stuff that's put into this stuff. Music videos, performances, stage sets, production. There's so much put into, you know, this stuff to not get a return. The label is going to be annoyed. If Lotto's using her own money, that's one thing. If she's using the label's money to do the things that she's been doing and they're not getting a return because the music isn't selling, the album is not going to sell, the tour, da 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 that will eventually cause a label to let you go i talked about it with coila ray how she kind of you know swiftly moved from one label to the next and kind of made it seem like she moved when it was most likely that she was dropped due to low performance same thing with lotto and then somebody might not think so because lotto is arguably bigger than koi the same thing if the music isn't being sold if nobody's buying it if it's not charting if it's not doing anything you know what i mean it's the same exact same exact scenario so you guys let me know what do you feel like is missing from her like what do you feel like she could do differently do you feel like there is something that she can do because she tried going pop so we can't even be like oh she needs to go pop let's just she tried doing that lottery didn't work that's another song i totally forgot about lottery didn't work at all that was her trying to go pop then big mama is like an r&b hip-hop fusion that didn't work then she's done straight up hip hop rap that didn't work either. so it's like what does she need to do i'm curious because i actually i'm a little stumped <laughs> normally i could say exactly what they need to do but um you guys let me know what are your thoughts on lotto what are your thoughts on the trajectory of her career do you see her improving not improving where do y'all where do y'all see it i would love to know and that's it for this one i love you i'll talk to you in the next one bye don't forget to subscribe like interact because like i said youtube has been messing with me has not been monetizing my content i mean yeah they have but not as much so like before most of my videos would get monetized like i would upload five or six videos in a row they'd all be monetized almost no instantly instantly no problem now for some reason it's less than normal and i do the same exact thing i've been doing so i don't know <laughs> what's different now <laughs> YouTube, stop playing with me. Dang. Anyway, love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.